Alright guys, so back with a little update. I bought this solid state drive for my 2012 MacBook. Is it a 15 inch? 15 inch and it only has four gigabytes of RAM, right? So before I bought the Sony A7C, I was wondering like, is my phone gonna be strong enough to edit the videos? I know for a fact my laptop wouldn't be strong enough because my laptop wasn't even strong enough to turn on. So I bought this, I installed it, go check out the previous video for that. And I've been editing videos on my laptop. It's been perfectly fine. I still only have four gigabytes of RAM. I should update that so it can multitask a little bit better, but hey, that's here nor there. I bought this from walmart.com and had it shipped to the location for $50. You should look into that. I bought the tools to install this at Amazon for like $8, right? So all in, I was in like $60 and this made my computer totally usable. And this might be a far stretch, but now my, my battery lasts a lot better. Maybe I was wasting battery with my, whatever this is called, hard drive. Yeah. Yeah. It came with one of these to transfer data and information from each other. Uh, process of converting my solid state drive to my hard drive was, that was hard, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about can the updated 2012 MacBook edit 4K footage. Now, at the moment, I'm going to make this twice as hard because I know for a fact she can edit that 4K footage from my camera. I'm going to put two videos lapping on top of each other. Oh no, that's wrong. When I edit this video, there's gonna be two videos overlapping each other. But I can't make the video talking about doing it if it hasn't been done yet. Do you get it? Mm -mm. Okay. So I'm, I'm, talking, <laughs> I'm talking about like we're going to do the future and the future hasn't happened yet. I was gonna put that, this, I was gonna put this right here, what's happening right now, and, then and the this one. on top of each other in here, and watch how my computer puts it together. But I can't record that if it hasn't happened yet. This camera is capable, not the camera, but the laptop is capable of. So right now I'm recording, right? Yes. <laughs> I was going to put that on a timeline right here, right? With that one that you're recording? And then this GoPro is recording to 4K. Yes. I was going to put that timeline right above it, and I was going to sync the videos up and have my voice coming from here, and video, video coming from there, from there, voice coming from here. Oh, but then you lost me when you said... I was... I was... Thinking about making a video of the future, and the future hasn't happened yet. I don't get what he's trying to say. Hey, don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> I'm going to come back at a different day, and I'm going to give you guys that content. <laughs> it's just like, how can you... Record the, the future. And it hasn't happened yet. Yep. But then you won't be able to record it because it hasn't happened. We are living in this second, but when I chop the video up, I'm going to upload it, and it's going to be the future. When I upload it... I haven't uploaded this video yet. So, so the that's problem the is like you're talking about something that you haven't done yet. So you cannot say that you did it on this video and that you're going to do it because you have been. All right. So it. now we got her up to speed. Hopefully you up to speed too. So I'm going to give you a one layer video straight from the camera. And we are going to get to it right now. So I'm going to show you what the timeline looks like. Take you from the beginning, right? I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see. This is only a five minute 4K video. I'm gonna make this full screen, right? She wants to tell you how the 
Look at that beautiful face. Right? So that's what she's looking like. The screen is my 1080, so that is what it is. But, so that's that, right? It cuts through it very well. And when it comes to uploading, right, you click on 4K. It's going to be about one and a half gigabyte estimation because it's going to only make the files big enough for YouTube. So, click next, put it on my desktop. And then from there, right, I'm going to actually bring you guys up. And it shows you the estimation right there. Now, it's doing the estimation right now. It started off like it said it's going to take 18 hours. Then it said 12. Now it says seven and a half. Now it said six hours. Like I said, the computer does the estimation. At first, it gives you a big estimation. Um, it's still working its way down. It says it's going to take three and a half hours at this very second. It's not going to take that long. Bring you guys a little closer. The GoPro can get closer. So it's saying it's going to take about two and a half hours. One. I'm not going to lie. After using this camera and then now looking at the camera footage from the GoPro. I don't really like the GoPro footage. It's so compact and so easy to use, but I really like setting that up using that. So, uh, this honestly might take like 30 minutes or so to edit. So, I'm going to bring you guys back and let you know how long it took. And then we're going to put it all together. It's going to make sense then. So, okay. All right. So, guys, like that. Um, it didn't even take 30 minutes, like I said it would. Uh, it took like four minutes to get a five minute video cut through, so close. And I'm gonna show you another cool thing about working with my laptop is when I, I'm gonna show you this footage from my GoPro, but when you go to YouTube, you can just upload it. Now this is a five minute video, 4K. The second you click on it, it's gonna start uploading. It's at a 10% upload at this very second. Let's uh, make a title. Um, what is this video about again? Cause I gotta think about the present. PNY solid state drive. I'm gonna just say SSD. SSD twenty twelve MacBook Pro video editing four K four K video editing. All right, so and the time it takes me to type a title, it's a uh, seventy five percent done. Click that this is not for kids. Click next. It's 85% done. Click next. It's 90% done. Make this video private for now until I work out the kinks with it. And it's 100% done. Like that, I was able to edit up the video, render it in like four or five minutes. I was able to upload the video in probably two minutes. Hey. This laptop is back to life. She's getting the job done. A smaller new M1 MacBook would be better, but for me, just what I'm doing right now, it's getting the job done. So hopefully that video was useful. If you have an old, outdated, clapped out MacBook, don't feel, don't feel bad, bro. Don't throw it out. Give it a second life. Buy a solid state hard drive. It don't matter if it was cheap. You buy an expensive one. Uh, just. Get your computer back to life, and until next time, 
hit that like button, comment something down below, and stay positive. Until next time.